The alternate angle theorem, which some people call PLTZ for parallel line theorem Z, also known as the Z pattern, is the idea that when you have two parallel lines and then another line cutting through it, the inner corners of a Z that is made, those angles are going to be equal to each other. The trick here is that for the Z, the top and bottom of the Z have to be the parallel lines. So the parallel lines here, straight across and straight across, plus we've even shown that they're parallel with these indicators. If you go across and then you go through the intersecting line and across again, you've made a Z. What the PLTZ or alternate angle theorem says is that the inner corners of that Z pattern are equal sized angles. This 52 degrees is the same as this 52 degrees. And you just have to say PLTZ so that everyone knows how you figured out that that was 52 degrees. This one's going to be trickier simply because the parallel lines are vertical, but you can still do the same thing. You can follow across the parallel line for the top of the Z, then go through the intersecting line toward the other parallel line, then continue in the same direction on the other parallel line. This is a Z, even though it's like rotated, like straight up and down, and actually it looks backwards, but you can see why it inspires thoughts of the word Z. This inner corner, the 115, is equal to this inner corner. Also has to be 115 by PLTZ. Nice. Let's do it one more time. If I start here and go across the parallel line, through the transverse or through the intersecting line, and then continue in the same original direction on the other parallel line, I get that this inner corner of the Z has to be equal to this inner corner of the Z. That means 8x equals 136. All right, that was me using PLTZ, but we probably want to solve for x. Who wouldn't want to? 8 times something is 136. I have no idea what that is, but I know I can undo this multiplication by dividing it out on the other side. 136 divided by 8. I'm going to need the calculator for that one. 136 divided by 8. 17. Apparently the x there is worth 17 degrees each. There are 8 of them that combine to make that. x is 17. But what matters here is that we used PLTZ, or the alternate angle theorem, to say that the inner corners were equal. Nice. Love it. This is, uh, this is one of my favorite angle theorems. And now you've learned something about me. Now go practice it. Best of luck.